I'm Brian Welsh, I'm the director of Beats. Uh, Beats tells the story of two boys, John and Spanner, who go to an illegal rave in Scotland in the year 1994. It's a year when a um, piece of legislation is to be passed in the UK called the Criminal Justice and Public Order. They want to make it illegal to have gatherings without music, wholly or predominantly characterised by the omission of a succession of repetitive beats. So it's a story that follows these two boys uh, on a journey to this party and into this kind of world of anarchy and freedom and music and creativity, but also clashing with the forces of law and order. So in 1994, I was only 13, but uh, shortly after, when I was like 15, 16, I started to go to parties that were put on by the guys who used to put on the uh, illegal events and uh, and so techno music and rape parties were an important part of my uh, my youth so the movie is based on a play like you say by uh, a playwright and friend Kieran Hurley and uh, it was a one man one man play uh, where Kieran performed four characters in the story, John O. Spanner, Robert and Alison. It was just Kieran sat at a desk with a microphone, some rave visuals and a DJ and a small white pill. And I was completely intoxicated by the experience uh, of, of, of watching the play and I met Kieran and says, look man, you know, I want to make a, a rave movie Maybe we should use your text as a starting point. The summer's gonna go off. Me and you, right? We pretty much saw every kid in Scotland. The two boys who ultimately we cast in the film uh, had been to drama school. He's dead. Aye, we're up your gutted like. I'll pass that on. This idea of black and white transitioning to colour. Uh, the climax of the movie was something that I, I wanted to do and it, I think it works. It takes the movie from being like a social realist rave movie and elevates it, it kind of mythologizes the time in some way, uh, but also makes the characters, brings you much closer to the characters as well. So I worked with uh, a legend in the Scottish techno scene called uh, JD Twitch, Keith McIver, and we went through thousands of pieces of music and uh, set out with the intention of creating a soundtrack that felt like a an acid techno mixed I'll see you on the other side then. It's the one part of the movie that was very like experimental and we had many uh, pieces of archive from lots of different places. We played with the textures and the colours and overlapping and and so it's like a, piece of kind of poetic experimental filmmaking that came, came about almost by, it's like alchemy or something. <laughs> they're fictional characters, but they're all kind of drawn, they're all drawn on people who we knew growing up or the people that we knew whose lives have changed. <laughs> 